Well, good afternoon, everybody. Rob with RKC, your property damage expert consultant. And today is November 13th, 2018. It's getting kind of cold here in Toledo, Ohio. And so as roofing companies in cold areas or Ohio are aware of, sometimes it's not the best idea to put on roofs at this time of the year. Um, sometimes the shingles aren't going to adhere correctly and you run a risk of possible blow off over the winter time because the shingles never sealed. So if you have a roof and uh, it has wind damage to it and there's missing shingles, what should you do? Should you replace the roof or should you mitigate damages? And that's kind of the topic I wanted to cover today and it's kind of situational. So if a tree hit the house and did significant damage, you probably can't reasonably tarp that scenario. You're probably gonna have to go ahead and replace the decking and put on a new roof. And, um, and that's pretty much the only way you're going to be able to uh, deal with that situation correctly. But let's say we get a hail event or a wind event, most likely wind. We don't get a whole lot of hail here in Toledo. So let's say you get a wind event and you have a, a roof that has eight missing shingles and 15 crease shingles and they're kind of spread out and the client already has you know a watermark on the ceiling or something like that that is definitely a situation where you need to tarp that roof you need to tarp the entire roof the whole roof because the roofing system at this point has already failed especially if it's widespread let's say for example if you just took a tarp and you just covered up the areas where the shingles are totally gone but you have crease shingles guess what's going to happen when the next windstorm comes through those crease shingles are now going to be missing shingles. So you're just going to continue to tarp and tarp and tarp. And so when a roof is in this state, just this is called mitigation, okay? So you want to tarp the entire roof and then also any damage on the inside, anything that's wet, get rid of it. Get it cut out if it's drywall, insulation, get all that stuff out because you don't want the damages to get worse. It is the homeowner's responsibility to mitigate damages after they occur. And if you're a contractor, you can take care of that service for the homeowner and directly bill the insurance company and get that money put in your bank account really, really fast. And then after the damage is, you know, you, you stop the bleeding, you can wait till the spring and it's a good way to, to give yourself a real solid backlog of roofs over the spring and also help the homeowner now by mitigating those damages and making sure they don't get worse. So Rob Cole with RKC, your property damage expert consultant. Please give this video a like and uh, share it. And please, guys, subscribe to my YouTube page, RKC Toledo. I need some more followers on here. I put out great quality videos all the time. I'm going to be in and out of Florida over the next couple months, so you guys are going to see all kinds of great content. So if you have any questions, uh, all my information is in the description section below, my phone number and email. Love you guys. Beautiful, but cold day in Slate, Ohio. I gotta go walk the dog. You guys have a good one.